Oh, and maybe one of these. I'm still adding things on here. <laughs> I really need to stop myself. In today's video, I want to share with you the uh my nail polish rack for the fall so i'm just gonna go over i did it in a roy g Biv type of um order and then down here i have i made a commitment guys this year to do a whole row of just indie polishes oftentimes i hear a lot of people say that they neglect their mainstreams because they went down the indie rabbit hole <laughs> and it is easy to do but for me, it's the opposite. I tend to reach for the same indie polishes over and over again because I love them, like the Colores de Carol Elm Street, Nine Zero Lacquer, Be Positive, Decay, Auto Sing Singer Auto from Nine Zero Lacquer, right? Like certain polishes from indie makers or like KB Shimmer polishes, I tend to stick to the same ones and then I forget to use my indie polishes. <laughs> so what I decided to do is do a whole row. I have a mix of polishes that I have not worn in a really long time. I'm talking years. Uh, there's polishes that are favorites. I have polishes that are new to me. I've never worn. Other than maybe like a swatch, but never actually worn it as a manicure type of thing. I left a little room here for sample sizing me up from a China guys. I cannot find that polish. I don't know where it went. I can't find that polish in Night, Night Rider Street from NCLA for some reason. Night Rider Street I wore in the summer, transitioning me into the fall. Nowhere in sight. I don't know where that polish is. I know around the same time. I was handling both at the same time, so they're together. So at least they're not lonely, you know, but uh, I'm leaving a little bit of room here for sample sizing me up. This one I have in my project polish. So I didn't pull a bright shimmer orange on my seasonal rack because I'm going to focus on this one. And this is the one that I currently have on my nails right now with actually one of the toppers. I'm going to make a separate video on the toppers just so that this video is not overly lengthy. All right, let's go quickly through these polishes. Glazed donut nails are still trending, guys, and they're going to be trending till the end of the year. <laughs> Like, well into the cool, colder months, and I even anticipate this into the spring. <laughs> I don't know. So, I did a whole video on the glazed donut nails. Actually, I did two videos, so I'll link them up in the cards if you guys are interested. And I wore um, a combination of a couple other polishes, but I wanted to focus on these two polishes for the fall. This one, these two being from Sally Hansen, part of their Diamond Strength line. This is called Frost Comes Love, which is a frost white. And then Brilliant Blush. This one has a little iridescent shimmer. And both are so beautiful. So what I did for that manicure is layer two coats of Frost Comes Love. And then put one, one coat of this little shimmer, iridescent shimmer. Brilliant Blush over top of it. Called it a day. Very simple glazed donut nails. Uh, and inexpensive because it's Sally Hansen. And actually on the... On the blogs, they are suggesting iridescent polishes like this type of polish, right? Anything that has a little reflex. Just one polish to put on your nails to give you the glazed donut look. You don't have to make it super complicated. This nude was uh, part of my top picks. I mentioned this as my top picks because I really like this nude, guys. I enjoyed it all throughout summer. Wore it as a manicure, wore it as a pedicure. It's just so freaking flattering. I love it. I want to wear this one again. This is Simply from LA Colors. I'm pretty sure I got this at a Dollar Tree. It's not pink and it's not peach. It has a little bit of a, almost like a tan undertone. More like brownie, I guess. Like a very soft, soft brown. And then one of my favorite manicures from last year. I have Nine Zero Lacquer No Bones About It. This is in Off-White Curly with Matte Black Shreds of Glitter. I like this one because the matte shreds of glitter, they're black, but they almost have a blue undertone. And then this one I am currently wearing on my toes. I'm actually going to switch it out for another manicure because I've been or another pedicure because I've been wearing this one for a whole week. This is CC Nest Pas Blanc. And it's an off-white cream. It's a white with a little bit of a yellow undertone. This one I have not worn in forever. I actually bought this one, yep, <laughs> for the name of it, many, many ages ago. Um, the reason why I don't wear it very much is because the formula is slightly tricky, but I really enjoy this color, and I haven't worn it in years. This is almost a very soft lavender, 
the palest lavender. It's slightly purple and it has a little bit of a grayish undertone. This one just has a little bit of a tricky formula. And actually, uh, muted lilacs are trending. I'm talking very soft, like this one. Uh, very soft purples with gray undertones. So this is Decades of Dysfunction from Orly. Beautiful, and it's a cream. And I pulled this one out from China Glaze. It's called Beaches and Toes. I love the name of it. And this one has a little sparkle going on. Maybe I can combine the two, I don't know. But do you see how this one's purple? This one's slightly purple too but they both almost have a little bit of a gray undertone as well. Another one that's more grayish, kind of taupe, a uh, little bit on the lighter side. This is called Berlin there, done that. Have not worn this. I think it's been a really long time or I don't even know if I've ever worn this one. Actually, I can't even remember. But it's a lighter type of gray. I'm gonna say gray because I see more gray purple and then it has almost like a brown undertone. This color I got at the Dollar Tree too, and I actually bought it at the same time that I got Simply. It's also from Ellie Colors. Oh my God, I swatched this in a little nail wheel. I love this type of color. It reminds me of the Sally Hansen one that I really love. Um, I think it's called Gray Area. It's a purple that has a lot of gray in it. I, I mean, I can even consider it a gray with a little bit of purple. This is called Moth. Look at this color. It's so beautiful. Oh my God, I can't wait to wear this one. And then I pulled this one from Define Inspire because I've had it for a little bit and I have not worn it. This is called Rock of Love. Pretty sure I mentioned it in a seasonal wrap last year or the year before. I still haven't gotten it on my nails, guys. So grays are in this season. This is a very light gray, but it has almost a reddish, orangey, slightly golden shimmer. I don't know what kind of shimmer. I want to say red shimmer. Look at that. It looks super ethereal, right? And I'm pretty sure I bought this one at Target because Target is who carries um, Defy and Inspire. And then Play Dead, uh, one of my picks for um, my top picks for fall. This one has a silver shimmer and then copper. They used to be a little bit more coppery, I feel, but they've bled into the base a little bit. But they were kind of like copper, now bronzy, <laughs> uh, larger hexes. And those glitters do get a little bit buried in the base, but you can still see them. That's what I forgot to pull out. Hold on. It was Don't Let the Dead Bite. <laughs> okay, uh, Metallic Pink from Sinful Colors. Wow, this, this is going to be all over the place, guys. This is called Sweet and Spicy. It's a pink metallic from Sinful Colors. I've had it on by Seasonal Rex since the summer, but I just um, I didn't get around to wearing it. And then a moth linear holographic this is from lbk this is so beautiful oh my god and the formula is amazing and it's super rainbowy even in low light you're gonna see it on really long nails because that's you know that's uh, my nails were super long at the time okay i pulled out don't let the dead bite the glitters initially were metallic red glitters but i've had mine so long now this is my backup and it bled into the base. So the base looks more reddish pink. It used to be very fleshy, like a fleshy pink base, and it had red metallic glitters. And I love this polish. So what I'm thinking of doing is actually emptying out half of this bottle and adding red glitters. If I still have any loose red glitters, I would like to add it just to add the effect back into this polish. It's gonna have to go right here for now. And then this one, because I haven't worn it in a while, it's from Essie, it's called In Stitches, it's a cream. This one, so trending right now, I mentioned this pink, right? I rather wear something like this. It's a little bit more toned down. It is coming off a little bit brighter on camera, but in person, slightly muted. This is from Julie G, and this was gifted to me by Karen, and it's called Damsel. Damsel? It's a brighter pink, but it's slightly, slightly muted. It almost seems to have a little bit of a, a raspberry undertone. And then a fuchsia because I haven't worn a fuchsia in a while. And again, trying to stick with that Barbie core <laughs> type of pink, brighter pinks. This one's more pinky purple. And for a while there, this type of color stayed on my toes for an entire summer. This is Flash Bulb Fuchsia. This is pre-me having, um, you know, hoarding polishes. <laughs> uh, I, had, I had this one and then I had 
one from Orly. And then this super bright neon green is Neon Paradise from Orly. So awesome. I want to wear this during the month of October. This one, because it's been on my seasonal rug for a couple of, um, I think a couple of seasons, and I just haven't gotten it on my nails. This is a very reminiscent polish to I'm So Swamped. Like I brought out I'm So Swamped so you guys can see. Almost the same. If you guys want to splurge, you don't need to, obviously. This is from Gucci, and it's called Melinda Green. I just like trying luxury brands to see what the, you know, because they charge so much. You know what I mean? Like, I just want to know, okay, is it worth it? In the end, you're paying for the brand, really, because um, OPI's I'm So Swamped has an awesome formula. This one was on my summer seasonal rack. Didn't get a chance to wear it, but it's Stranger Tights. This kind of color is also trending. It's almost like a muted sage type of color super beautiful this one uh, i bought from a fru fruity 2d collection i bought the blue bluish purple one i think there's a pink one yes there's a pink one i had initially all three on my seasonal rack but i <laughs> opted out of having all three of them this is limelight and what i like specifically is that it has a uh, little black glitters they're so cute and then i have uh fearlessly fiona right yeah it's like a green a yellowy green type of polish here comes the sun manicure i wore was my first manicure for the fall it's a cream a couple coats two to three coats and then i pulled out this terracotta e type of polish from milani i've had this one for a long time it's called canyon country haven't worn it in a while look at how beautiful this color is it looks so decadent I mean, terracotta and decadent don't really go together, but you know what I mean? Like, it's such, just such a beautiful color. And then I put a uh, caftan. I had it on my summer seasonal rack, I'm pretty sure. Didn't get a chance to wear it. But this type of caramel color is so beautiful for the fall. Super flattering. The squash color that I pulled out from Paparazzi, because I haven't worn this one. This one is called Harvest Moon. How beautiful is the name? It's kind of yellow with a slight bit of orange and brown tones. From Orly, I brought out a very bright, uh, almost orange, like the fruit, um, orange color. <laughs> and this is called Tangerine Dream. This is a type of orange that is trending. I'm going to try to put up sc screenshots of the trending colors that I find on magazine blogs so you guys can get an idea of what I'm talking about. But it's a cream. And then Lion's Ear. This came out in last year's fall collection this is a marigold type of color so it's an orange and what I love about this one is that it is slightly transparent let's see if we could go like this I don't know if you guys are going to see the transparency here at the top of the bottle but it's even at two coats but I do prefer it at three because it covers the nail line a little bit more um, it's just such a beautiful color and the pumpkin orange plain koi that's a cream takes two coats brighter reds candy apple reds or candy reds i think is what they were calling it or really really red are trending right now um so much a uh, much brighter red i pulled one out that doesn't lean too warm that doesn't lean too cool but it's still bright enough so i pulled out big apple red and this has an awesome awesome formula i did a whole uh, video on opi reds so i'll link it up in the cards because i don't think i saved my swatches <laughs> And if I didn't post them on Instagram, <sighs> I don't have them in my phone. Don't be chocolate. Browns. Browns are trending right now. I mean, I don't know when they're not really because I like browns. Doing Skittles manis with the browns, with different tones of browns on your nails. French manicures, half moon manis, whatever. That's all trending. So I brought out a, a warm brown. And this is Don't Be Chocolate. From Essie came out in a Valentine's Day collection of some sort and my reddish brown hey where's that other one? Oh, it's over here I don't know I have this one up here it should be down here with the browns okay whatever brownstone my bricky red it's red with some brown undertones this has a cream formulation and gets a pick at two coats it's beautiful mine's a little bit lower so it has gotten a little bit thicker but I will try to get as much use out of this bottle before I dip into my backup. Hi, is Bitter. This is from a watercolor line from Essie. Let me show you guys the little title. And it's super, super sheer. You can see how sheer it is. So I can do jelly sandwiches with this one. It is so transparent, guys. Now, it's not. it doesn't have the consistency of a jelly polish. 
because jelly polishes have this almost plump look to them to where this one's not as plump but it's still super transparent and i can wear it on its own or i can wear it as a jelly sandwich which is what i plan on doing my very favorite berry polish is berry naughty this one this berry has a lot of red in it but it's still berry um let me bring it out to compare um to a true red so you guys can see it's berry it's so beautiful it is a bit of a stainer so usually i have to be careful with my application because once the, the skin is stained it's so uh, and then i have bordeaux it's more red a little bit deeper in person than what my camera is capturing um so let me compare it to berry naughty they are different guys a berry naughty almost has a little bit more purple in it but they look the same on camera. Oh my god, that's so funny. From OPI, DS Indulgence. Oh my god. Okay, this one has a red shimmer base and almost amber shimmers. It's almost golden and orange. And it's super glowy on the nails. It's so beautiful. One I have not worn in a while. The base is more plum. And then it has uh, like golden shimmers, purpley, almost like burgundy shimmers, I guess. And some that lean a little bit more green. Do you see? This is called Midtown Magic. I haven't worn this in forever. I also have not worn this one in a long time. It's from Sonia Kashuk. And this is called Little Little Lies. Uh, I brought out, because Bahama Mama was on my seasonal rack. But then I know I've worn Bahama Mama, not last year, but more recent than this one. So I just want to compare the two. The one from Sonia Kashuk has a, a little bit more purple in it. Let's do it like that. To where Bahama Mama has a little bit more red in it, if you can see. But, you know, this type of color is really beautiful. doesn't matter what brand you have it from. And then this one came out in the... Was this part of the summer? Fall collection? I don't even know. Flight of Fancy. A fuchsia type of color. Let me compare it to flash bulb because it's more pink. That's why this one's sitting with my pink polishes, and this one is sitting with my purple polishes. Roxy, of course, mentioned this one many times. It has a jelly base, metallic glitters that glisten so much because of the jelly base. It's just so beautiful. And it's from Zoya. And then this purple one from Chanel. It's like a deep plum type of color. This is called prune or like a prune. <laughs> Um, it's coming off a little bit lighter here, but it's a dark color. I think this is one that's going to look blackened on the nails. A purple I have not worn from Wet n Wild in a really, really long time. I'm talking years. This is called Amethyst Rocks. This is, um, a dusty purple with gold shimmers running throughout. Super unique for Wet n Wild. I wish they would come back with this line again and come out with limited edition lines. Uh, it was a toss up between this one and the one that I have from Polish, but I haven't worn this one in forever. And this is the other one from the Fruity Collection uh, blend from Sinful Colors. This is the purple one, but it has some blue undertones. And it's called Blueberry Smash. I love the little black specks, they're so cute. Look at that. This one I've already worn, and it's called Synthetic Symphony. This is um, like an ultraviolet type of purple. So it's a purple that has a lot of blue undertones and it's beautiful. It's coming off a little lighter, more ready tone here, but in person it's more blue tone. Um, let's go like this. And then these two from Orly, cause I have not worn them in forever. This is called Foul Play and I'm talking ages. I'm so embarrassed to say how long. And this one, let me show you. It's a purple base, but then it has a bunch of these little shimmers. It's so pretty. I don't know why I, you know, neglect some older ones. We being one of them as well. This one has a purple base and very strong gold shimmer. Look at that. So let me go like this. Look at how beautiful these are from Orly. Older, older polishes. Oh, they're so amazing. I'm giving Wallace from Butter London a break. I'm pulling this one out because I haven't worn it in a while. It's called Infinity from uh, Dare to Wear. 
and it's a very regal type of green kind of golden leaning and so beautiful it doesn't shift like that i don't know i think it's the lighting from the window but it's a very regal type of green very wallace inspired only that this one is a very fine shimmer and then from orally the one that came out in this false collection this is one of my picks for this year also this is called elysium field let me pull it back because it's a green but it has brown and yellow undertones it is so beautiful ugly pretty but more pretty than ugly in my opinion it's just great off topic this type of color is trending, but I wanted something a little bit darker. If you can see, this is here today, Aragon Tomorrow. It is a black and green with some yellow undertones. So this is here today, Aragon Tomorrow. It's just such a beautiful color, not just for fall, but also for uh, the Christmas time. The um, blue that I, I decided to keep on my seasonal records, I had this for summer, but I didn't get a chance to wear it. This is called Rinse and Repeat, and it's from Orally. Since I can't find a sample sizing me up, I figured I'd pull this one. And it's coming off a little lighter on camera. Hopefully by the time I get into editing, it just changes things, right? From when I record to when I transfer my file into my laptop. And then even when I upload my videos onto YouTube, colors change. It's ah, so frustrating. Anyways, this is kind of a medium tone blue that's a little bit dusty so I think it works for the fall season this is almost like a dark denim <sighs> blue it looks purple too it's an interesting polish I remember it being from when it first came out because in some lighting it looked like a dark denim and then in other lightings it looked like purple like this and it has a silver shimmer this is called nebula from orally I can't remember what collection it came out in it's not a shifting polish it's just depending on what lighting you're in you see a little bit of the blue and then in another lighting you can see a little bit more of the purple i just find that to be super interesting i do remember enjoying it when i first wore it i'm hoping that i have the same experience this one from opi is called number one nemesis see all of that golden shimmer nessie plays hide and seek i don't know what collection this came out in um but it's a okay the base looks like an inky blue base but it seems to have a teal shimmer and a gold shimmer running throughout i want to wear this one on the toes because i love navies on my toes so beautiful and then a teal blue leaning teal from pure eyes great formula for this one uh this is called teal appeal very blue leaning Put these two together so you can see and then this one because i haven't worn in a long time this is called permit me to speak from opi it has a very thin formula so three coats i can kind of see my nail in but i don't really care i love the the colors um that i see on my nails so you get a little bit of gray green golden and purple that little flash of purple it's just so beautiful I, I've worn it a few times and every time I wear it, it's just so pretty. These two, I kind of want to layer together to see what they do. This is called Astrid from Zoya. It's a very warm gold. Gets a pick on its own. The formula is a little bit thinner, but it does build up very well at three coats. But I want to put this one over top of it, which is called Gold Lame from Pacifica. It's a gold also very warm, but it has a hint of green. Do you see that? sheer as well which is why i want to layer the two and see what it does i don't know we'll play around there's a couple of manicures that we really want to do um if i find the pictures online i will coordinate them with the polish i want to do them so that you guys can see because some of them are just i don't know i can't wait to wear them and then this one from finger paints is called surreal sunset you get the rusty browns and burgundy gold like bronze type of colors what a beautiful that is that's just so pretty i love that this is a brown but it has a bit of a yellowy and a green undertone and it's called mahogany magic i am low on my bottle guys i mean like my bottle is thick now like thick thick um yeah so i think i added a little bit of thinner mm, oh my god I had not realized because the 
bottle is so opaque but then i think i let it settle for a while and it's like down here <laughs> i was like oh my god i'm almost out of this one it's called mahogany magic it is such a funky color i love it so much it's brown yellow and green but the predominant color is brown and then a cool brown that has a lot and i mean a lot of gray in it uh this is called how great is your day on camera i think it comes out way more a little bit more gray in person it's brown but it it has a lot of great undertones i just feel like on camera it's pulling a little bit more gray it is a beautiful cool brown let's see can we focus on the actual bottle thank you so much camera from color club another brown i pulled out exposed it's a deeper brown um and actually let me do this so you can see how much gray how great is your dane has so do a skittles chocolate brown manny doesn't have to be with this one this one i want to wear on its own i want to pull a lot of my warmer or even neutral type of browns and do the skittles manny that would be really pretty oh and matter no do a skittles brown manny not french manny but brown skittles manny and mattify all of them okay this one i actually bought um with this guy they were side by side at the store this is called copacabana beach from mcla it is a purpley um no hold on it's a brown, but it has a lot of purple tones to it. Um, and let me actually compare it to this one just because, you know, so you can see because this one's visibly gray. It's a cream. And then I bought this glitter, Santa Monica Beach. I literally bought it for the name of it, guys. Because <laughs> I'm a Kelly girl at heart. This is a kind of golden, almost bronzy type of glitter. It looks like never worn it so i don't know i'd like to wear these together not that i need more glitter toppers guys i have so many this is called stop the clock it's almost like a burnt copper it has more brown in it i feel and then bronze ambition my favorite copper um so stop the clock and then bronze ambition look at how beautiful these are oh a gradient oh my god between these two I wonder if it would show. That would be so pretty. Two finger tip it would be up here, but I really neglected this one from uh, Moonshine Manny. I'm going to move on to all of the Indies now. This is called Two Weeks Notice. I bought this one myself. It has a sage base and red metallic glitters. I want to wear it because I really haven't. <laughs> and I should. It's really pretty. It's a sage base almost with a little bit of a blue undertone. It's so pretty. And this has a red shimmer and then larger red hexes. Um, let's do that. Does that give you guys a better view? These glitters are looking a little bit lighter, are they? No, they're not. Yeah, some of them are looking a little lighter. Uh, I don't know, maybe. Ay, se me tapó el oído. Anyways, really pretty. This one Carolina gave to me. And it's called Rose Gold Sprinkles. And it has a gold shimmer and it looks like copper sh uh, flakes. So, uh, <laughs> excuse the burp. Um, so, uh, I thought this would be really great for the month of November. And this one, because I haven't used it in a while. I initially bought this because of Bloopy Frog. <laughs> Louise, she mentioned this in a fall picks y years ago. And I literally went <laughs> and immediately went onto the side of never mind and bought it but this one and the white one the white one i'm putting for my fall rack which i already have polishes set aside and um, i pulled this one for the fall because look at the colors that you get on those flakes orange red kind of burgundy slightly green and then the base is almost like a silvery holographic it is so beautiful it's been so long since i've worn this and it's called phoenix fire and this one because i haven't worn it in a really long time it's called rumbilly from uh, super chic lacquer it's just a funky kind of mustard yellow holographic so beautiful this one because it's like the pumpkin flaky or glitter that i have it has orange 
glitter and holographic glitter in here. This is called Zyler, Zyler the Cat from Holo Taco. I did a haul on the Holo Taco polishes and this wowed me. Such a beautiful color. Look at how much glitter there is in here. This one I haven't worn in a while. I bought this one myself as I did the Holo Taco one. Super chic and never mind, by the way. And this one I bought myself too from Dollish Polish. This is called The Wolfman. It came out in some kind of horror collection. Those are the type of polishes that I first started buying from indie makers. And I specifically bought a lot of them for the names of it. And, and I found that I just don't reach for the polishes. I keep them for the names. <laughs> I actually have the polishes up there that I bought for the name of them. I don't... If I wear them, great. If I don't wear them, I'm okay with that because I literally bought them for that. For that reason, for collector's purposes. But anyways, the base of this is really beautiful. It's a caramel color. And it has multi-shifting flakies. Kind of like dulce de leche. Oh my god. Like cajeta, you know? It's so freaking beautiful. And then this one, Anna of your sent to me uh, through Moonshine Manny. I placed my order and, and she covered it for me, which I'm just sometimes with you guys' generosity, I can't. Um, this is one of the polishes that I selected only because I love Hannibal Lecter, guys. I love Anthony Hopkins, okay, in Silence of the Lambs. And then if you guys watch the, um, the show Hannibal on Netflix, I am waiting for them to come back. I'm going to pray. You know, miracles do happen with Matt Michelson as Hannibal. Oh, my God. I lo love that show. It was so graphic. <laughs> I'm going to actually rewatch it again. I, I think I've watched it twice. I'm willing to rewatch it again. Only because they don't... <sighs> I hate it when they discontinue really good shows. <laughs> Anyways, I bought this one for the name of it. I didn't buy it. Anna bought it for me. But anyways, it's a little fun glitter. So the base is an orange curly and it has, what is that? Like neon yellow, chartreuse green, black glitters, pink. I, I read Hannibal and I was hooked. And then this one Carolina sent to me. This is from Cuticula Blood Moon. I planned on wearing it during summer. Didn't get a chance. So another brighter red that I can wear for the fall. And it has blue little flakies. It's so pretty and it looks like holographic. My Halloween Manny from Colores de Carol is Elm Street. This one has a burnt orange jelly base. But once layered at three coats, it does look red on the nails. And then you get all of those shifting flakies. I do plan on wearing this as a topper this year though. Then I bought this one because I've been wearing Be Positive and Elm Street. Be positive from from 90 lacquer and then elm stream from colors of carol i have neglected this one <laughs> and i bought this one a long time ago it's called leaf of faith from kb shimmer and this one has a red jelly base it's not orange like colors of carol and it's a little bit more pink leaning if you can see look at that it's a little bit cooler to where this is warmer from colors of carol uh, and this one has metallic glitter some golden i think some are silver that reflect like a brighter red because of the jelly base. And this is fall in a bottle. I may use this as a topper. We'll see. Camp Crystal Lake, what better time to bring out Halloween themed polishes. And this is another one from Colores de Carol. With this one, you get a little bit of uh, almost like a charcoaly gray, teal, brighter blue, almost like um, a blurple little shimmer and then larger little teal specks. Oh my God. This looks so much better on the nails than you see in the bottle. This is one of those that I feel like the bottle doesn't do justice almost. I mean, it's coming up really good here. But it's very shifty and so beautiful. So that's Camp Crystal Lake from Colores de Carol. The last three, KB Shimmer, Espresso, Yourself. I may do a Skittles Manny. Um, I did that a while back, I kind of want to recreate a manicure um, that I did using this one. This is called Espresso Yourself. It has a chocolate brown base and a ton of holographic. And then Matcha Mint. I didn't get a chance to wear it this, um, this summer. So I'd like to wear it this month of October as a pedicure. Such a great color. Or a manicure. I think it'll look amazing because this has matte black shreds. It's a very bright green with matte black shreds. I think that makes it super appropriate for Halloween. Hanging with my girlfriends. This is a polish that gets a pick on its own. Any toppers that I mentioned in my top picks are sitting on my rack right here with the toppers that I wanna focus on this fall. And it has, look at all the colors. 
fit the red, the gold, the green. Golden tones. I mean, this is like fall in a bottle. I wonder what would happen if I put this on and put take it or leave it from, not take it or leave it. Um, I think it is take it or leave it. Like these two together. I don't know. Too much? Possibly. You know, whatever. Thoughts? <laughs> I know I kind of, I think I rushed through this. I just don't want it to be like 50 minutes long or like an hour long. Let me know down below what polishes you guys are looking forward to wearing this season. What manicures are you really looking forward to, to wearing? I have some select manicures that I know I'm going to wear this season. I'm going to do a little pattern design with the little deeper polish, right? I know I want to wear a chocolate brown Skittles mani. I know I want to wear some kind of a... Beetlejuice inspired manicure, my skull manicure for sure, my my copper polish, um, that's for damn sure. Um, I had other nail designs that I really want to focus on this season. I just forgot about them now. But um, anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will talk to you guys later.